This movie tells the story of a man named Zhang Zi, who used to be a famous and unbeatable rally racer. He was not only famous because of his popularity, but he was also very rich. However, the fate took Zhang Zi in a different direction when he violated the code of ethics in the racing world. Because of that, Zhang Zi fell into poverty and he only lived with his adopted son. One day, Zhang Zi and his son were invited to attend a trial at the Automotive Association office. In this trial, Zhang Zi intended to explain all the mistakes he has made. He also has the ambition to regain his honor as a racer. In that office, lots of journalists attended the trial to cover Zhang Zi. Because of this, Zhang Zi felt uncomfortable with the presence of the media who often brought up his past. While in the courtroom, Zhang Zi began speaking in front of the Automotive Association jury to get his racing license back. Well, to convince the judges, Zhang Zi began to tell the story. He admitted that he had previously received an invitation to participate in an illegal race. There's no need to doubt about Zhang Zi's skill in racing. Even though in that race he only used a standard car, he managed to lead and dominate the race. Unfortunately, bad luck befell him when the race was almost over. The race arena was surrounded by the police and Zhang Zi couldn't escape. As a result, he was caught and was given a ban on taking part in official races for five years. The reason Zhang Zi took part in the unofficial race was because he was promised a better life if he won the race. During the trial, Zhang Zi asked the chairman of the Automotive Association jury to give him the opportunity to race again. He also aspired to regain his honor as a great racer. The chairman of the jury felt sorry for Zhang Zi and finally gave him permission to race again provided that he had to obey all racing rules and pass a medical test. Zhang Zi felt relieved because his request was granted. He promised to follow all the rules. After the trial, Zhang Zi met with the chairman of the board to thank him. Zhang Zi also admitted that in the past, he was very arrogant. Therefore, he also apologized for all his mistakes. The chairman of the board forgave Zhang Zi and advised him to immediately take care of his racing license so that he could immediately return to the arena. After that, the chairman of the board said that for the last few years, there had been a young racer who was invincible at the racing arena. Hearing that, Zhang Zi just pondered in silence. That night, Zhang Zi contacted his old friend to meet and his friend immediately asked Zhang Zi to meet him at his workplace. It turned out that Zhang Zi's friend was a dinosaur actor at the amusement park. The next day, Zhang Zi decided to meet his friend at the amusement park. When he got there, from a distance, Zhang Zi saw someone wearing a dinosaur costume. Without thinking twice, Zhang Zi ran and hugged the person tightly. He assumed that the clown was his friend. However, it turned out that Zhang Zi was wrong. The person he was hugging was not his friend, but his friend's wife. They misunderstood because their costume was same. Zhang Zi's friend, Yun Jing, felt a little annoyed because Zhang Zi had hugged his wife. However, they finally sat together and chatted. Yun Jing used to be Zhang Zi's crew driver during the race, so this time, Zhang Zi's goal was to invite Yun Jing back to the racing arena. Yun Jing was willing to accept the invitation, on the condition that he could get approval from his wife. But unexpectedly, Yun Jiang's wife agreed to the invitation. The next day, Zhang Zi and Yun Jiang took a driving test to get their driving license back. The instructor then asked the reason why Zhang Zi's driving license had been revoked. Here, Zhang Zi argued that he had previously driven while drunk. The instructor became annoyed because he really hated people who drove while drunk. And here, he intended not to pass Zhang Zi's test. Yun Jiang then tried to defuse the situation by explaining that Zhang Zi was just joking. Therefore, Zhang Zi gave a new reason, that his driver's license had been revoked because he liked to speed. But again, this reason was not liked by the instructor. Therefore, Zhang Zi begged to be given a chance in the driving test and wanted to show him that he was very good at driving. Hearing Zhang Zi's explanation, the instructor belittled Zhang Zi and challenged him to show his skills. Zhang Zi then intended to show his driving ability, but just as he stepped on the accelerator, the car engine suddenly exploded. In the end, they failed undergoing the test. On the other hand, there was a young racer who was training in the arena. His name was Lin Zhengdong. He has a very huge car racing team. 
Lin Zhangdong was a very successful and rich racer at his young age. For three years in a row, Lin Zhangdong also managed to enter the top 10 in various tournaments. At that time, Lin Zhangdong and his assistant began discussing strategies for dealing with racing opponents, including Zhang Zi, which caught his attention. The next day, Zhang Zi returned to meet the driving instructor and apologized for the previous incident. Zhang Zi explained that he was a racer and once a driving instructor. However, at first, the instructor didn't believe it, but then he finally came clean and said that actually, he didn't hate Zhang Zi. He just didn't like Yun Jiang because he had long hair which he thought was a sissy. But apparently, Yun Jiang was behind them, inside the instructor's car. The instructor was shocked, so he dragged Yun Jiang out of the car. Yun Jiang immediately said that he would compensate for the losses due to previous incidents. Zhang Zi then gave the instructor some money. The money that Zhang Zi gave turned out to be double the losses suffered, so the instructor became confused. It turned out that the remaining money was used to compensate for the loss of the instructor's wife's car, which was damaged when Zhang Zi used it to practice racing. Shortly, Zhang Zi finally managed to get a driving license. He also got a racing license, which is making them very happy. Not long after that, Lin Zhangdong came to meet them and wanted to talk. He was very interested in Zhang Zi and intended to invite him to compete in an official tournament. It turned out that Lin Zhangdong had really admired Zhang Zi since he was 18 years old. It was all because of Zhang Zi's extraordinary racing skills. Lin Zhangdong then told about his past when he was sent abroad to study as a racer. This made him see the shortcomings and weaknesses within Zhang Zi. Hearing this, Zhang Zi felt a little annoyed. Then, before leaving, Lin Zhangdong gave Zhang Zi a business card and provide sponsorship offers to participate in tournaments. But it was refused by Zhang Zi because he felt prestige. The next day, Zhang Zi showed his racing team uniform to Yun Jiang, and the two of them went to a car repair shop to rent a racing car to be used in the tournament. But when they got there, they met the car repair shop manager. His name was Yi Yang, who used to be on the same team as Zhang Zi. Manager Yi didn't let them rent a car because he was worried about the loss of reputation and sponsors if his car was used by Zhang Zi. However, Zhang Zi and Yun Jiang kept begging the manager. Unfortunately, Yi Yang still refused their request because of the mistakes Zhang Zi had made in the past. Yi Yang apologized for what he had just done. Zhang Zi and Yun Jiang, who felt disappointed, then left the place with a sad expression. When they left the workshop, Yi Yang called them back and took them to the wrecked car dump. There Yi Yang shows the used car from Zhang Zi's racing and said that the car has been thrown away and they could take it because the car is no longer included in the company's assets. So, they can take it secretly. That evening, Zhang Zi and Yun Jiang decided to take the car by using a motorbike. But their actions were caught by the security guard at the car dump. Even though Zhang Zi tried to beg the guard, he still didn't want to let them go. But suddenly, an old friend named Ji Sing appeared. He came and shouted at the guard to let them go. Seeing Ji Sing, his old friend, Zhang Zi, and Yun Jiang, let go of their longing by hugging each other. The three of them then took the car frame to the wine cellar belonging to manager Yi's friend. In the warehouse, they reminisce and talk about the past when they were still on the same team. It was known that Ji Sing was the lead mechanic of the team. After reminiscing, they started planning to rebuild a rally car for the tournament. Ji Sing then asked about the budget they had. But unfortunately, their money was not enough to buy some of the spare parts needed to build the car. So, the only solution was was looking for sponsors for their team. After that, Ji Sing started calculating the costs needed to build the car. The next morning, Zhang Zi and Yun Jiang started looking for sponsors. They visited someone who was very rich and explained their vision and mission. But unfortunately, this rich person was not interested and immediately kicked them out. After failing to find the sponsor, Zhang Zi and Yun Jiang looked for another way. This time, Zhang Zi invited Yun Jiang to meet his colleague at a restaurant. But Zhang Zi's friend was seen to be very drunk. At that time, Zhang Zi's friend revealed that his business had now gone bankrupt. Hearing the news, Zhang Zi and Yun Jiang felt there was no hope for them and immediately left. Feeling hopeless, 
Yoon Jing had another idea to appear on a television show and pretend to be someone who needed help, with the aim of being able to get a sponsor faster. Therefore, the next day, Zhang Zi and Yoon Jiang took part in a program on television where participants were given six seconds to express their dream. Zhang Zi then planned to wear a wear pack with the words looking for sponsors. But when Zhang Zi was about to go up on stage, it turned out that one of the judges on the event was Lin Zhengdong, who made Zhang Zi felt embarrassed again and immediately left the stage. Yun Jiang, who saw this, immediately held Zhang Zi back and asked him to return to the stage, remembering that this was their only chance to get money. With a heavy heart, Zhang Zi finally returned to the stage and told about his sadness when he became a racer. But when he was about to zip his whir pack, the zipper couldn't be closed and the time ran out. In the end, Zhang Zi failed and had to go home empty-handed. In that evening, Zhang Zi looked desperate, but Yun Jiang reminded him that they still had someone who could help them. They went to a very rich mafia boss who was at a karaoke bar. Yun Jiang then asked the mafia boss to be their sponsor. How happy they were when the mafia boss immediately agreed to their request. However, he gave a condition that he wanted his girlfriend's name was placed in the wear pack that they would wear. The mafia boss wanted his lover's name to be known to the world. Now the rally car that they had built together was finished. Yun Jiang immediately tried out this new car. Here, Yun Jiang was in charge of making the arrangements first before Zhang Zi stepped on the accelerator. Ji Xing also gave the signal to start and the car was running very fast. With his skill, Yun Jiang gave the good directions to Zhang Zi so that he could understand the track he was going to pass. Time passed and now they were ready to go to the tournament. Yun Jiang was driving the truck carrying the rally car to the racing arena, while Zhang Zi and her son left by plane. But the journey did not go smoothly because the truck driven by Yun Jiang had a serious accident which caused damage to their rally car and left Yun Jiang injured. When Zhang Zi arrived at the racetrack, he was shaken when he saw the condition of their rally car. Hopes of being able to return to the tournament were dashed again. Here, Yun Jiang felt very guilty and apologized to Zhang Zi for destroying the hopes they had built together. Even though Zhang Zi felt disappointed, he preferred to ensure the safety of his friend. Not long after that, the competition committee came to Zhang Zi and asked if he still had another car. With a heavy heart, Zhang Zi answered that the damaged car was the only car he had. The race committee then gave a letter of resignation and asked Zhang Zi to sign it because the committee was very sure that Zhang Zi would not be able to continue the race because his car had been destroyed. Even more, Yu Jin didn't pass the medical test due to injuries from his accident. Right before Zhang Zi signed the resignation letter, Lin Zhengdong came to them and advised Zhang Zi not to sign the letter. Lin Zhengdong intended to help Zhang Zi repair his car because he really wanted to compete with Zhang Zi. Finally, Zhang Zi's damaged rally car begins to be repaired by Lin Zhengdong's team of mechanics. The repairs were also assisted by Ji Sing. Even without a co-driver, Zhang Zi was still able to take part in the race and had hopes of winning the race again. Every five minutes, one by one, the car rally race participants started to depart from the start line. Here, Lin Zhengdong and his co-driver were seen preparing to start the race. When the green light on, the car driven by Lin Zhengdong immediately went fast. This showed his extraordinary driving skills. Not long after, Zhang Zi also looked ready to start the race. When the green light came on, Zhang Zi's car immediately went at high speed. His driving skills were impressive, even though Zhang Zi was driving without a co-driver. Zhang Zi was known to be very skilled at driving on the track because previously, he had won several matches on the same track. Unfortunately, many participants had to be eliminated on that track because this track is known to be dangerous. Here, Lin Zhengdong drove his car and managed to reach the finish line with a time of 59 minutes 58 seconds. On the other hand, Zhang Zi continued to try to catch up with the time set by Lin Zhengdong. After a hard struggle, Zhang Zi managed to cross the line with a time difference of 548 seconds. And finally, he was officially declared the winner of the tournament. However, his vehicle suffered serious damage which made him unable to stop the car.
Until finally, the car left the track and drove uncontrollably over the edge of a cliff. Even though he experienced a terrible incident, Zhang Zi managed to win his victory again. Now his name will always be remembered as a legendary rally racer who was never defeated. Watching the race at Mr. Summit's house and the film ended.